Today I'm here to share with you my most addictive fragrances right now. These are the fragrances that I can't stop smelling or I can't stop wearing. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't seen one of these videos from me, it's basically like a favorites video. These are the fragrances that I keep reaching for either to smell or to actually wear. So I don't like to base my most addictive fragrances off the ones that I have worn the most because sometimes I wear a fragrance because I'm testing it or I wear a fragrance because it fits a certain occasion. But other times there are fragrances that I am just so drawn to out of my collection. So these are the fragrances I'm gonna be sharing with you today. I typically try to do these every couple months, but I am now trying to do them once a month. So <laughs> we shall see if that works out for me. But keep in mind, these are not like all time favorites. These are just the fragrances that I have found myself drawn to a lot over the past month. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna start with a fragrance that I'm wearing today, and it's actually probably the one that's not gonna be a big surprise to most of you all, but this is from Zerjoff, and this is Italica. So this fragrance is a re-release. It came out a few years ago, and then recently it was re-released earlier this year. I'm not sure if it's reformulated. I really don't care. I've only smelled a new version, but it got a lot of hype because a lot of people loved it when it was initially re released. So when they re-released it, it got a lot of hype and I was kind of like, mm, it's probably just another boring gourmand. However, I was wrong. This is amazing. <laughs> if you saw my Zerjoff haul, you saw my reaction to this, that's still how I feel about it. I love the way this smells. It is almond, it is sweet, it definitely smells like there's some sort of praline or caramel in here. But what makes it so different is the milky quality to it. And I know that can sound gross, but this is done so, so well. The milkiness just really makes it a lot more different than other gourmands that I've smelled. So I love this. I also love that although this is kind of like a sweet, heavy type of smell, <laughs> It's not really that heavy. So I can wear this in the summertime and I'm in Florida, you guys. I haven't worn it like a ton, like on days out because I'm kind of feeling like I love this one so much that I'm kind of giving, getting that feeling where I don't want to use it up too fast. <laughs> and I know that's stupid because I have a ton of fragrances, but sometimes a fragrance just does that to me. Like, I don't know. I'm not saving it for a special occasion or anything, but I don't wanna just like wear this to the grocery store, although I could. It's good, y'all, it is really good. I actually have been enjoying wearing this to bed as well um, because it's just so like comforting and cozy, but it's not like overly sticky and heavy and nauseating in my opinion. So I've been loving this and I'm super happy that I decided to take a chance and purchase this. So yeah, this first one is Derjoff Italica. The next fragrance that I have is from BDK, and this is Velvet Tonka. So I have a video all about this. This fragrance is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I cannot dispute the smell of this fragrance. So I know it's named Velvet Tonka, but for me, I get more of that almond. And it also smells like there's cherry in here, although cherry is not listed as a note. It's just that the almond has that cherry type smell, but it's definitely not like cough syrup vibes. This is very like, light and kind of powdery and you do get that tonka so that vanilla twist as well but it's just really good it is kind of, although it kind of sounds like a heavy cozy fragrance it doesn't feel heavy when you wear it it feels like more it has more of a lightweight nature to it which allows it to be worn year round in my opinion now i do have a video all about this that i will link for you guys there are definitely some cons to it but we're talking about my most addictive fragrances and this is one that i cannot stop smelling and can't stop wearing and i've been again liking to wear this to bed <laughs> feels like a waste of money but it i love it <laughs> I love wearing good fragrance to bed because I get to like smell myself until I go to sleep. So I love this. It's just so good. It's very, very well done. And yeah, I just can't stop smelling it. So yeah, that is Velvet Tonka. One quick word before we move on to the next fragrance. 
I actually have an alternative for this fragrance that I already had in my collection that I will be willing to share with you guys. So if you wanna see that video, let me know. It's not a like 100% dupe, but I think they are pretty close and there is a huge price difference on the two. So if you wanna know more about that and you wanna hear a comparison video, let me know in the comments below. And if enough people comment that, then I will definitely make that video. The next fragrance that I just cannot stop smelling is from Maison Margiela Replica Line, and this is Matcha Meditation. So this fragrance is, you would think it would just be about matcha tea. So you'd think it would smell very herbal, and it does have an herbal tea note to it, especially when you first spray it. However, there's also white chocolate hanging out in the background of this. And as you wear it, the white chocolate comes to be more to the forefront and the tea dies down. So I love this because I love both phases of this fragrance. I love the initial smell that I get. That tea, like very calm, serene, also sweet, and a little bit of floral in there, but it just smells really good, but so, so different for a fragrance. But like I said, as it dries, you get more of that white chocolate smell coming out. And now that's like a whole nother fragrance and it's also delicious. And the white chocolate is kind of, it's still mixed with the, the matcha and the florals in this fragrance. However, it's more like those are in the background and the chocolate comes to the forefront at the end of this fragrance. And it's like a whole new fragrance but still delicious. <laughs> I love this. I especially like wearing this to bed again, <laughs> but I've also been wearing this out and yeah, it just, I, I like to sniff this one y'all. I really like to sniff this one. Sometimes I'll just go into my closet and spray this and walk back out and then I'll come back and it's like, what is that smell? You know, like it, this is one of those. I wouldn't recommend using this as a room spray. I'm just saying that I have been known to do that a time or two, so. It is delicious. Y'all have to smell this one. So this is Matcha Meditation. The next fragrance is one that I have loved for a long time and it's definitely in my top 10 of all fragrances. But recently I've been wanting to reach for a lot more. Now I know a lot of you probably watching this probably have a relatively large collection. Um, maybe not the size of mine or it may be way bigger than mine, I don't know. But if you have a lot of fragrances, Sometimes you have ones that you love, but you don't necessarily wear them all the time because you have all these other things you're trying and smelling and new ones you're getting. But then you come back to that one you love and you're like, why don't I wear you more? This is one of those for me. This is Amawatch Sunshine. This is one of my favorite fragrances. I don't talk about it that much on my channel anymore just because I felt like I talked about it so much last year that I didn't want to like rub it in the ground. I know, when you guys watch me, I don't want to always talk about the same fragrances, but I love this fragrance. It's definitely in my top 10 of all my fragrances. And lately, I've been wanting to wear this. I actually wore this a couple days ago on a date with my husband, like a day date. Magic, magic. So this fragrance features the note of Osmanthus, and it has that kind of sweet floral nature to it, kind of a honey scent as well. I don't believe honey is a note in this, but it gives you that honey vibe. But what makes this very different is the white tobacco in it. It's almost like a aromatic tobacco. It's just amazing. It doesn't smell smoky or anything like that. It smells like a actual tobacco plant or flower. <laughs> but it is, it's just so good. It's so different. It, when I smelled this for the first time, it was unlike anything I've ever smelled. That was well over a year ago, probably about maybe close to two years ago at this point. And I still say, I haven't smelled anything like this. This is just amazing, I love it. One thing I did wanna add is that when I initially got this fragrance, I didn't feel like it was the most long lasting fragrance and I ended up buying an oil to go along with it. And I wanted to share it with you because if I know I'm gonna be out for a long time wearing this fragrance, then I will always use the oil as well and it works really well together. So. The oil is from the company Fragrant Body Oils, and this is their version of Sunshine. And I really like to apply this like with a lotion. So I'll pour a little bit of this in my hand and then um, put some lotion in my hand and then rub that all over my arms, and any like exposed skin, so shoulders or wherever. And then I'll spray Sunshine on top. And I actually think they did a pretty good job of matching the smell of Sunshine. Now, of course, this was probably like $10. It's not gonna smell exactly the same, but it smells pretty darn close and it really helps extend the life of sunshine. So yeah, 
if you have sunshine and you think it doesn't last like you expect it to I would highly recommend <laughs> getting this oil they come in a lot of different sizes um, I bought just a small one because I feel like it takes me forever to get through oil and I don't want to take up a ton of space so I typically will go for a smaller container of oil um, so keep that in mind but if you're looking for a larger one they have this in different sizes so I will link the company down below they are out of Florida and they are black owned too so hey check them out but anyway sunshine I'm not gonna say I've fallen back in love with it because it's not like I ever fall, fell out of love with it but lately I've been wanting to wear it all the time now so yeah sunshine and then the last fragrance is probably going to be a surprise for you guys <laughs> because I shared this fragrance in a haul and in that haul I smelled the fragrance for the first time and it didn't smell how I expected it to. I liked it immediately but it didn't smell how I expected it to smell so I didn't know how I felt about it. But the fragrance we're talking about is from Tiziana Terenzi and this is Berea. Now this is my first Tiziana Terenzi fragrance. From here on in this video we're just going to call it TT okay I can't be saying all these words. <laughs> So this is my first TT fragrance and I picked this up because I heard AI the Great talk about it. Y'all know I love her channel and she has great recommendations. So I heard her talk about it and it sounded like something right up my alley so I picked it up. So I was expecting to get like an almond coconutty type scent with a little bit of floral but for me this fragrance is a lot more floral than I expected and y'all know sometimes I'm funny about florals especially white florals. Um, so I didn't know how I felt about it, but for some reason, I just kept smelling this. After I did that haul, I wore this like one time and I liked it, but I wasn't really sure about it still. But since then, I kept smelling it. Like I kept go not making myself smell it. There was something that kept drawing me to this fragrance and making me smell it. <laughs> and I, I started back wearing it and I love it. Now this fragrance, it's kind of like a milky, almost like coconut milk mixed with almond and mixed with florals. I don't know what type of florals, but I'm pretty sure there's some white florals, but also it smells like there's some sort of tropical floral in here too. Maybe like ilang ilang. I hate saying that word. I can't say it well, <laughs> but it smells really good. And there is something about this that I just keep wanting to wear it. Also, I had a question about this fragrance when I shared it in that haul video. I think it was from Takara Thompson here on YouTube. I'm sure y'all know who she is, but if not, I will link her channel as well. But she was saying that she heard this smells like rolling in love. I didn't know that it was that people were saying that, but when I smelled this, I definitely think it smells like rolling in love from Killian. I don't think they're exact dupes, but if you've ever smelled rolling in love, you know, it has that almond milk type smell, but not like as in a heavy gourmand almond milk. It's more like almond milk and a lot of white florals in that fragrance, but it's very kind of like mellow, very tame, very elegant, but at the same time, also very sensual and different. And this gives me that same kind of vibe. They are not dupes, but they definitely remind me of each other. When I think about both of these fragrances, the picture that comes into my mind are flowers poking out of a pool of almond milk. <laughs> That's literally what comes to my mind when I smell Berea and when I smell Rolling in Love. So if you like Rolling in Love, you probably also like Berea and vice versa. Again, they are not dupes, but I do think they definitely have some similarities. And I just can't deny that. I think they are pretty similar. However, if you're talking about comparing the two, I do want to point out that Berea is definitely stronger, like more projecting than Rolling in Love. I blind bought Rolling in Love a while ago and I returned it because I couldn't smell it on myself. Um, but this one I could definitely smell on myself when I wear it. So yes, that is Berea from Tiziana Terenzi. So those were my most addictive fragrances right now. The ones that I couldn't stop smelling and or couldn't stop wearing. <laughs> Let me know down below if you've tried any of these fragrances. What do you think of them? Do you love them as well? Also, what has been your favorite fragrance over the past month? Let us know down below. We always want to learn about new things. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.